Welcome to my learning and on YouTube. Today I will show 10 handy tricks for Illustrator beginners. This is the very important uh, tools uh, for the beginners who are trying to using uh, Illustrator. Now let's start. First of all, I would like to go new or control and press 10 handy. Handy tricks. See, yes, handy tricks. I have written down here name and uh, space or work space size width 1920 and height 1080 pixel. Right now, that's okay. You have to get here cmyk and resolution 300 ppi and previous mode default that's it okay now i would like to draw t this is a canvas area right and i would like to to object by pressing shift and alter and then stroke it by using black color and that's it and I would like to uh, draw another object here again by pressing shift and alter that's it these are two objects first of all I would like to show zooming and this is the object and I would like to zoom by pressing Ctrl, Alter, Shift and Spacebar minus right and I would like to zoom in now I would like to zoom in by pressing Ctrl shift and space bar and plus okay this is number one and number two this is maneuver and how to maneuver maneuver means drag and drop to move here and there of your object now select and first of all you can maneuver by using hand tools i mean work space on the other hand you can maneuver by pressing spacebar and drag and drop spacebar right two things first of all you can use handy hand tool for maneuvering and second things you can use spacebar for maneuvering just drag and drop and number three duplicating vector objects now how, how will i do this is your object and you will duplicate i mean copy first of all select and press alter more and more right and select all right and number four four how to select multiple objects now how to select multiple objects actually there are four objects here and how to 
select multiple objects now first of all you can select by this by pressing your left button of your mouse then and drag okay and by pressing control Z in the previous position and then rulers and guides I'd like to show this one uh, you have to press control R for getting ruler this one is horizontal and this one is vertical first of all I would like to get vertically and I would like to get horizontally all right and this is the ruler and you can get it by pressing control plus R and then you can remove this ruler by pressing and this is a ruler if you want to move or remove this ruler and you have to press shift alter and double click and then control X okay and you can remove this in another way mm. you have to select and press control colon that's it and another one is aligning how to align your object first of all and now aligning how to align your four objects first of all you have to select all the objects and and go to the window and align here is a align and this is horizontal align left and this is horizontal align center and this is horizontal align right and this is vertical align top vertical align center and vertical align bottom now i would like to vertical align center and that's it in control z and i would like to horizontal align center and that's it right control z in the previous now i would like to show how to scale a stroke and effects now let's start first of all i i would like to draw a circle by pressing shift and alto together and Control C by pressing Control C I would like to draw another circle inside of this and draw another circle inside of this and and select the whole object and go to the stroke awesome and this is the stroke and another is how to effect and you can a stroke and effect all together <coughs> by going to edit reference general and you have to check box scale stroke and effect and okay and that's it this is another way and you can increase your stroke like this okay and 
Number eight, a smart object, a smart guides. How to get smart guides? First of all, you have to roll just by pressing Ctrl R and another thing is here horizontal and horizontal look now how will you draw another object on this area by pressing shift alter for using a smart object you can do like this and by pressing alter by pressing alter by pressing alter like this you can use a smart object by using a roller I mean Ctrl R and that's it. this is the smart guide now I would like to show how to use grades on your object this is your object and and this is a canvas area or work space now I would like to use guide there are th two things first of all I'd like to show by pressing control single inverted comma that's it this is one way and another way is go to the edit and preferences and guides and grade and you can change this setting uh, from the preference settings here guides and grade and first of all you can uh, choose another color and lines dot or lines and color I would like to use green line or dot line and 72 grid line and subdivision it you can change and that's okay now I would like to uh, see or I I was here and green color right and that's it and this is the last option of my tutorial this is the awesome and easiest or cool tips <coughs> to press F key. F key this is the full screen by pressing F key and second one is toggle panels how to get toggle panels press tab this is the toggle panel right thanks for watching my video still now today I have shown 10 handy tricks for illustrator beginners zooming maneuvering duplicating vector objects select multiple objects rulers and guides aligning scale strokes and effects smart guides guides and last of all full screen and toggle panels thanks for watching my video i would cordially request to subscribe my channel for the next video thanks